Hey YouTube, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I want to do a quick video for you guys talking about CPR masks and CPR shields, whether or not you should have these in your first aid kit or even attached to your first aid kit like this one will. And I still think there's a place for these in our first aid gear. Uh, current teaching is that hands only chest compressions is what's going to save life and that's 100% true, that's absolutely true. But there's still some circumstances where doing mouth to mask, because we really don't do mouth to mouth anymore, mouth to mask is still indicated. And those are like if airway and breathing are what calls the person's death. So if their respiratory or their breathing is what calls them to go pulseless, then we still try to do mouth to mask. These are like drowning victims, choking victims, things like that. So if you have someone who's drowned, you still want to try to do mouth to mask to them. If you have someone who's choking, you still want to try to do mouth to mask to them. So those are indications where these are still needed in our first aid kits. Do we need them all the time? No, thank goodness. But these are important to have around because I'm not doing mouth to mouth. No, that's gross. You start vomiting and just crap comes out. So no, I'm not doing it. But still 100% true that what's going to save lives is the chest compressions, hands on the chest. But these still have a place in our first aid gear. So I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you guys for all the support. You never know when you're going to be the first responder. Something like this can truly save a life, guys. Information is important, having the right gear is important because you truly do never know when you're going to be the first responder.